He gets right in front of him. Car blowing up. That's Josh Patty. He was running ninth at the time. Contact behind him and he gets spun. Hey guys, this is Mike Jones and welcome to the 2009 Hornet Cup Series race number one here at Wisconsin. Oakley is your pole sitter in the 75 with Cliff in second. Third, we got LeClaire. Fourth is Patty. Fifth is Wright. Sixth, Andreas. Or seventh, ninth is NASCAR fan, or eighth is NASCAR fan. Ninth is Hartnett and Cookie, Crispy Cookie rounds out your top ten. We're about to go green flag racing here. Mike Jones, who the career mode is me, is uh, back in 12th place is where he qualified. But anyway, we're about to go green flag racing. I'm Jones Mike. I am his uh, clone. Green flag is out. Oakley is your leader. I gotta remember everybody's first names here today. It's Kellen Oakley in the 75 car, and they are side by side for the lead. Oakley versus Cliff there. Martin Cliff in the 15. They're still side by side. And Cliff is not giving up that position. It makes sense though, it is for the lead. Oakley was able to lead the first. No, maybe not. The second lap, at least, was led by Cliff. Cliff passes on the outside. Martin Cliff is now got the lead. Oakley is in second. Leclerc third. Wright in fourth. And Orth in fifth. Caution is out. Caution is out. That is your lead. Let's go take a look at the replay. Looks like Beck in the 33 gets in the back of Kirby here. Coming out of the last turn and spins him right in front of the field, it looks like. That really hurt. Oh, man, that hurt everybody there. They, a lot of people went up and almost hit the wall there. Nobody got too bad of any damage or anything, so let's go to the green flag. All right, pace cars out. We're going green. Cliff is still your leader. Everybody is still on the lead lap in the top 30 or whatever. Everybody is still in the lead lap. Green flag is out. Cliff is your leader. Oakley looks like he's struggling. He was fast enough to get on the pole, but it looks like he's having a hard time staying in front of Leclerc here in the 16. Maybe he used up all his stuff trying to hold off Cliff on the inside. And right when I said it, here comes Leclerc for second. We've completed 10 laps. They're still side by side right now. And Leclerc ends up taking second place. Now that's a bad move. Is he going to get freight train? Oakley might be the train now. Here comes Wright. This is for third. Wright is now in third. Oakley's still on the outside of that freight train. Oh, Orth got loose coming out of the corner, but he wants that fourth place position. And he's going to go for it. Now we got Josh Patty trying to be another member of that train, but I don't think he's going to get to as uh, Oakley gets back down. Fell all the way back to fifth position, though. And meanwhile, Cliff has gotten a big lead up there in the lead in that 15 car. He is probably going to be the one to beat this season. We go back. Take a look at Mike Jones there in the 24. Quinn Hauf, Jacko, Beck. Beck, after being in that caution, made it back up to 15. Oh, somebody just hit the wall really hard. That's the 357 in the back. There's a wreck. Oh, my goodness, that's Sterling. Is a caution out? Caution is out. Is Sterling going to stay on the lead lap? Here comes Cliff to try to outlap him. He's on the outside. Sterling got it in gear as fast as he could. And I think he's just barely going to hold him off. Oh, my goodness. Caution is out. Let's take a look at that replay. The 97 of Kirby's going to be involved another one this time. It wasn't his fault again. Sterling got loose and came down out of the corner and... Uh, turned himself he's gonna have some front end damage for hitting the wall hopefully he's able to continue let's go to the green flag pace car is off cliff is your leader he's about to finish lap 20 right now coming to the line and green flag is out 
Cliff is your leader. Leclerc looking to the inside of Cliff. Cliff gets loose coming out of the corner. He floored it to try to keep that lead, and it worked. Oh, my goodness. He's able to stay in that position. NASCAR fan is looking to get by the 75 of Oakley's right on his back bumper there. There's a move for seventh place as the seven car of Harnett gets by Josh Patterson there. Patterson now on the outside. Oh, here comes a bump and run. NASCAR fans making the move past Oakley right now. Harnett's going to try to make that a freight train. Once again, Oakley finds himself in the wrong place of a freight train. Whoa, we got a car exiting the pits. That is for in the 98. And he's going to mess up Quinn Half right here as he gets right in front of him. Car blowing up. That's Josh Patty. He was running ninth at the time. Contact behind him and he gets spun. Oh, my goodness. Andres in the 66. And in the 19, we got Brian Rod or Martinez, Rodriguez, Brian Rodriguez in the 19 gets involved heavy front and damage. I wonder if he'll be able to continue. Let's go to the, let's go look at a replay. So here we come. Patty blows an engine and Andreas has nowhere to go. Boom. The 19 slams him. I don't know what that was all about. And they both end up stopping for a little bit. Yikes, that, that's some heavy damage on that 19, and I don't think that 18 is, 88 is going to finish the race. Let's go to the green flag. All right, pace cars off. Here we come to the green flag. Cliff is your leader. He's about to lead him off. Everybody is still in the race at the moment, but I don't know how much longer that's going to last. Green flag is out. 21 laps to go. And now he's got to battle that inside car on the outside, but he's able to hold the lead. Here comes Leclerc. Does he have what it takes to win here on Oval Tracks? Oh, he might be getting messed up by that lap car. That lap car might be freight training him. Almost three wide in back here. That's for fourth place. Yikes, contact. Ort slids down. And Crispy Cookie in the 67 decides to back out of it. Smart move there. Everybody two by two now. And they are getting feisty with less than 20 laps to go now. Oh my goodness. Who is going to make a great move? Cliff in the 15 has a huge lead now. And Leclerc's got some clean air. This lap car is holding back the rest of the pack. Leclerc was able to get by. More contact. NASCAR fan knocks the 98 of Lake Ford for at the top of the track again. And here comes Crispy Cookie taking advantage of that lap car. He passed about three cars, I think, in that mess. Up to fourth. Quinn Half in fifth. Oh, more contact here. Three wide. These guys are bumping and banging like maniacs. And that length fort lap car is starting to finally get knocked back. Your pole sitter, Oakley, is about to fall outside the top ten. Oh, my goodness. He's in tenth now. And now Jacko in eleventh is trying to take away tenth spot. And Oakley's got a lap car in his way, too, at the same time up there. Oh, my goodness. What's happening at the front of the pack? Oh, it looks like Zabrowski's having some kind of issue as he goes to the pits. Cliff still has a huge lead of almost two seconds over Leclerc. Then we got NASCAR fan, everybody else. We got a battle here. Jacko's going for ninth on Harnett in the seventh. Not going to happen yet, though. Harnett's able to hold off on that outside line at the moment. Now we got Janela Wika going for 11th on the 75 of Oakley, who's just continuing to fall back. What happened to Oakley? Fast enough in qualifying, just not fast enough in the race, I guess. Must have missed the setup today. Oh, my goodness. Here's Campe. In the one car, Aaron Campe in the back of Janela Fuica up there in the 13. Little bit of craziness going on today. We got a battle up here. Quinn Huff trying to hold off Orth on the inside. Orth trying to get that top five position. Here comes Aiden Orth. And he's making it. Oh my goodness. We're actually having a green flag run for once. 
Oh, man. Wright was thinking about going for that pass on Half, but thought better at the last minute. Leclerc stuck on the outside behind a lap car. That's going to allow NASCAR fan to pass him. NASCAR fan slow coming out of the corner. Here comes Leclerc on the outside. Not fast enough to take the position, though. And he's going to find himself stuck behind him in third now. Here comes Crispy Cookie. While that is all being said, Martin Cliff has a huge lead, and he's about to catch up to lap traffic soon. Oh, my goodness. It looks like Wright was able to get by Quinn Half here, and here comes Beck. Beck has made his way all the way back up from, who knows, like about 18th or something after that first caution that he caused. And he's right behind Quinn Huff. Contact in front of him. That's the lap car of Zabrowski and Wright. Oh, almost more contact. Zabrowski's trying to stay out of the way now. He knew that almost ended some of these drivers' races, and he doesn't want them to do that to him when he has a car that actually runs today. His car is not working right. Whoa, Oakley gets really loose coming out of the corner. Is he going to be able to get a top 10 after starting pole? He must be really good at qualifying, but who knows how he is after that. Here comes Durrani. That's a lap car. <laughs> Higgins, Olaf, Reese is struggling. Here comes Cliff. He already outlapped Ozcan and Rodriguez. And he just outlapped Reese's, who just about got in the wall right there. Now he's going by Olaf. Look how much faster he is today. Cliff showed up to race. Five laps to go. And he's got a huge lead going on here. NASCAR fan, a pretty big lead for second. Leclerc gets a loose coming out of that corner, and Cookie's going to try to catch him. NASCAR fan able to outlap Ozcan there. Any battles going on here today? That's a lap car. I don't see nothing interesting going on here, except for Cliff is trying to outlap Austin Higgins in the 87 now. And he's coming to three laps to go. Martin Cliff trying to win the season opener here. Oh, man. He made Higgins nervous, and Higgins slides up into the wall. Higgins is going to lose a position to Olaf in the 75 today. Oh, he's coming back strong. Two laps to go. Cliff is stuck behind lap traffic. He's still not able to outlap the 51 of Sterling yet. He's going to come to the white flag this time by. A, he doesn't even need to push it this hard. He's got a 2.8 second lead. He's got the fastest lap of the race. And he is still trying to outlap people, trying to show a message. White flag is out. Martin Cliff. Dang, he is fast today. That is what I'm talking about. He showed up with a car today. Martin Cliff is going to put on a dominating performance, and he is going to win the Wisconsin 100. Oh my goodness. Second place is going to go to NASCAR fan. Third goes to Crispy Cookie, who made it by Charles Leclerc. Or is in fifth, and we got Beck sixth. Wright is seventh. Eighth goes to Quinn Half, who is second fastest of the race. Ninth goes to Harnett, and Oakley makes his way back into the top 10 as Jacko fell back to 11th. Let's go take a look at the results and point standings. Here is your official results for the WIR 100 at Wisconsin. Cliff led all 50 laps. Holy cow. So that first lap that I thought uh, Oakley led, he didn't even lead it. Cliff just nosed it out the first three laps or so before he finally got the lead. That's going to be a big points lead. 15 points over NASCAR fan in second. That's a big points lead. He's going to have a huge advantage going into the next race. Nine races to go for the season. NASCAR fan second. Third is Cookie. Tenth to third is not bad. Leclerc uh, fourth. Or fifth. Beck sixth. Wright seventh. Quinn Half started 21st and came up to eighth. That's pretty good. 
Harnett, ninth, ninth to ninth. He just stayed right there. Oakley, pole sitter, fell back to tenth, but still got a top ten, so that's okay. Then we got Jacko, Huika, Campe, or Campe, I don't know how to pronounce that. Butcher, Andreas, who was up there earlier, he fell back a ways. And Mike Jones, too, he qualified at 12th, made it up to about ninth, and fell back to 16th or so. Durrani, uh, Kirby, involved two cautions, still finishes on the lead lap in 18th. Then we got Richard and Carlson. Then we got Fusari, Sterling, Olaf, Higgins, Reese's. Rodriguez, Ozcan, Linkford took a pit stop, that's why he's a lap down, he had some kind of issue, Zabrowski had some kind of issue, and Patty was involved in that wreck that just destroyed his car, same for Rodriguez, and he's still able to hold on in front of Ozcan there, so that's good news for them, next is Five Flags, where we're going 50 laps again, five flags, 100, and here is your point standings. Cliff is your leader, NASCAR fan, Cookie LeClaire, or with everybody that I just ordered. And yeah, bad day for these guys. They're gonna have a lot of points to make up being 100 points back. You don't wanna be more than 100 points back because there's only a 10 lap season here. 50 laps complete. All right, guys, if you made it to the end of the video, please, Click the like button. Let me know what you think about this race, one to five. If it was great, it's a five. If it was bad, it was a one. If it's average, it's a three. Let me know what you thought about this race and uh, subscribe for more. Hit the notification bell if you haven't already. And comment suggestions for future videos. Join my Discord chat. We'll see you guys next time.